And Jennifer is out at the Live Eye this morning. Morning, Jen. You like pie, Kevin? Because we got lots of pies here, all different kinds of pies. We've got apple pie, we've got raspberry pie, and blueberry pie. Oh my goodness, they look so, so delicious. They were made by Quality Bakery. Uh, it's in Norwich, Ontario. Uh, for 25 years, they've been around, so you know that they know how to make pies. Abraham, come on over here. Abraham, your family is here every year at the Sherway Farmers Market. Exactly, every year. Every uh, from. Uh, um, First of May to the end of October. It's a, it's from it's, two till eight. It's a special place. Special place, yes, for sure. Yeah, lots oh, of yeah. people come down here. They get fresh produce, uh, and we've got really great pies. What, tell me a little bit about these pies. You bake them yourself? Yes. Last night we baked 100 pies to give away. We have apple, raspberry, cherry, blueberry. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so we are giving 100 pies away this morning for free, plus a bag of produce. So you can come on down, just come on up and say, I love Sherway Farmer's Market, and you're going to get a pie and a bag of produce to take home today. Come on by and see me. William, come on over here. William from Bly Levin Farms. Yes. How are you? All right, Jen, how are you? Uh, wonderful. You're not only here as a vendor, but Correct. you're also here as a coordinator. Correct. Yes, I am. Uh, we've been here for 25 years, and uh, I kind of coordinate the market and work with Sherway uh, gardens and uh, looking after the market. Why should people come down here? Uh, it's it's for the it's for the atmosphere. Um, it's fresh fresh. You get to talk to the vendors who uh, who actually grow the product or bake the product or made the product, and it's a good way just to sit there and have a good chat and get to know the product better. It's their farm. It's right. their the company. Product. Okay, yes. when are you here at Sherway? We we are we start in the beginning of May. We're right to the end of October. We're here every Friday, rain or shine. We're here from eight till two o'clock. It's pouring rain out. You're here. Yes, yeah, hurricanes. You... I've been here. <laughs> oh no! Uh, but you know, you get here really early in the morning. What time do you get here? Uh, about four thirty. Yeah. So you guys get are here early, yes. setting up. Everybody's setting up this morning. We're yes. going to talk to some of the vendors, some of the farmers. The, they're, they're the real farmers that come down yes. here. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So come on down. Say hello. We usually get a big crowd. If you're on your way to work, if you're going to be in the area, nobody's here yet. Come on by. Pick up a pie. The first hundred people get a pie to take home of your choice and a bag of produce while supplies last. We'll see you when we come back. What a beautiful morning to be at Sherway Farmers Market. Thanks, Abraham. Now over to Jen, who's at the farmer's market, and she's making a lot of people happy. Jen, this is something you've been going to every single year and you look forward to. Absolutely. And you know what? I just want to say uh, this show is in memory of Deborah Cause, a really good friend of ours who did PR for the farmer's market for years. We came out, came out here because of you, uh, because of her and because of all of you. Uh, we're thinking of her today. We loved her very much. And um, she did pass away in 2014, right after uh, we did the show at farmer's market. So we're thinking of Deb today and her family. Thank you so much, yeah. Jen. A beautiful tribute. Like you said, you, had, you hadn't even realized she was sick. She came every single day with a smile and just enjoyed putting smile Always. on everyone else's faces. Absolutely. Never complained at all. And she was here for the people. And the people come out to the farmer's market all summer long. Thanks for coming out this morning, everyone. Want to say hi to Dina? Hey, hi, Dina. Dina. Okay, so I try to remember everybody's name, but I remember you guys from last year because Olga, you came out to get a pie last year. I did. You did. What kind did you get? Oh, I think it was a bumbleberry. Bumbleberry was and it good. It was fantastic. It was fantastic, Abraham. She loved your pies. Wait, who? Good, right there, Olga. She what had a bumbleberry. Like what do you like to have? An oh, apple or a raspberry? What do you want? Oh, raspberry would be lovely raspberry to try this year. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, so Quality Bakery is out here every Friday at every Friday. Sherway Farmers Market, yes. uh, and the pies are delicious. They are crumble pie. We have all kinds of pies: apple, blueberry, cherry. Pick your pies. Pick your pies. Hi, Stan. Hi. Nice to see you again. Yes, sure. Why I not? See, I see similar faces. You guys come out to Sherway all the time, that's not good, just for good this. Good stuff. Good stuff good here. Stuff. You know, you're that's getting right. pies here. Do you yeah. want what kind of pie do you want? That's good. 
Raspberry. He wants raspberry too. But you know what? You get a bag of produce as well. We are giving away a hundred pies today uh, on breakfast television here at Sherway Farmers Market. Maria, you came out with the family today. Do you yes. live close to here? No, I live at Dufferin and Lawrence. So how did you get here so quickly? Well, I, I looked on your website to see where you were going to be, and the, I got the kids ready by 6:15 and made our way down. All right. So you've got your little girl here. This yes. is Felicity. Hi, Felicity. I like your glasses. Thank you. I think I, I, think I could put my finger right through them. Yeah. Where'd you get these glasses? Movie theater. I love them. So you just pop out the, the lenses. The 3D lenses and there you go. You're a walking fashion statement. What do you have in your hand? A picture for you. You have a picture for me? Can I see this? Did you color this yourself? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Felicity. This You're is welcome. so nice. Thank you. We got lots You're of kids welcome. here today. It's Sophie, right? How old are you, Sophie? Eight. Eight years old. What are you doing for the summer? I'm going to my cottage. You're going to your cottage? Well, that's a good summer with mom, Liz. Yes. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Have you been out to Sherway Farmers Market before? Yeah, we've been before. We live just around the corner. Why do you love it? Um, it's great. You get to come and meet the farmers and buy, buy local produce. It's wonderful. And the produce is good produce. It's very good. Will you guys get a pie and a bag of produce today? And Bill is here. Uh, and lots of people came out this morning. Hi. Okay. Hi. What's your name? Maya. Maya. Hi, Maya. You've been out here before. Yes. Mark. I was here last week. And why do you like Sherway Farmers Market? Because it's fresh. Everything I bought, I I, I liked it. I like the pies, apple turnover, and the uh, date squares. Wonderful. Why don't you get yourself a pie? What kind of pie do you think you're going to get apple today? Apple pie today. Apple pie today. Do we have an apple pie, Abraham? Apple pie for Maya. Apple pie, bag of produce. You're all set Thank for the you. weekend, right? Thank Who's you. doing something special? Oh, it's Jan. Oh, Jan. give come on. Jan over here. Jan, I know you from last year, right? At yeah. the show. At the show. Where did you come into the show? At uh, Cineplex over there. That's where I met you. Oh, is that where I met you? Yeah. See, I don't even know where I meet people. Why yeah, do we? But... You came to the Cineplex when I did the show there. Mm -hmm. uh, so you live in this area. I do. Do you come to Sherway Farmers Market I a lot? Do, yes. do you like pie? Yep. Awesome. Go yep. get a pie. Okay, uh, everybody, line up. Get a pie from Abraham. Get a bag of produce for the weekend. Uh, it's going to be a great weekend, everyone. Hopefully, people are taking a couple extra days off. 100 pies okay. were given away this Jen, morning. this man is the tallest. What did you just say? I say he's the tallest freestanding pie, pie giver away in, in the world. How tall is he? How tall is that guy, Jen? How tall are you? How tall are you, Abraham? Six six. Six six. six. Wow. I know it's, your husband is tall too. Is it? No, no. He's about six foot. Oh. He's about six foot. He's, oh, I thought he was taller. <laughs> I think we're going into the he's NBA dead. draft he's still too. Short. Yes, I know. Hey, Jen. Tell him, last night? Jen, tell him to put the pie over his head. Watch this. Ready? He likes to have a pie. Oh, go. Ready? Well, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it up. Hold on. Put the pie over his head. What am I going to say? Don't say it. Okay. Put it up over his head. Put the pie over the head. Over your head. Pie over the head. Put the pie over your head for a second. Now, I want you right now to guess what Dina is it's going thinking. to say and what oh, she's thinking, said. and we will have the answer for you in a bit. Yeah. Tweet us at BT Toronto. Riddle me this. Riddle me this. There. What Put is she there. saying okay. right now? Okay. I'm. Remember, he's six six. Okay. All That's right. That's your hint. I All know right. what you're. No, no, okay. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. Good morning, everybody. Well, we thought up for this Friday, we'd wipe the fuzzies out of our brain by playing a little Riddle Me This. And by Riddle Me This, we mean get inside Dina's scary, scary brain and how it works. All right. So organically. Here, here we go. Uh, Jennifer is at Sherway. We're at, at the Farmer's eye. Market. And she's giving away 100 pies, by the way, if you want to get on down there. One per person. Uh, so Jennifer, let's uh, the gentleman we talked to before, who is the pie giver outer. Remarkably tall, the pie giver outer. Six foot six. What's his name again? <laughs> Abraham. <laughs> Abraham. All right. Abraham from Quality Bakery. And Abraham we, is six foot six. So when we last left Abraham, Dina said, put the pie over your head. And then I said, whoa. Why? Let's reveal. We wanted to guess. So okay. what? I couldn't even think of anything. Honestly, I couldn't. So I went to Twitter to see what people are saying. Is yeah, they're, it they're smart. Dina? Is it pie in the sky? Ding, 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 ding. Wow. Ding, ding. That is you good. guys were so smart. That's what I thought. Tracy Peart guessed tall order. Jen, did you know what it was? Yeah, right. Yeah, pie in the sky. Kev, yeah. what did you think it was? Uh, I didn't think it, I could not, honestly, for the life of me, I could not, could not think of one. But I thought of one myself in thinking about that. Yeah. All right. So, Jen, I need you to get four pies. Oh, no. I need you to get four pies. Look at Abraham. Do they just, have to be all wonder, the same? I wonder how long Abraham Do they have to be all the same? Uh, well, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, well, yeah, no, no. 
By the way, it could also be <laughs> hashtag pie with this guy. Get it? Here's another thing. Did you know that this term was coined in 1911 by Joe Hill? Okay. And it's a promise of heaven while continuing to suffer in this life. Thank you, Joe Hill. All right, Jennifer. Pie in the sky. Put, put them, do you have a table there or something you can put them on? Yeah. With pie, you suffer less in this um, life. Abraham, how's those arms feeling, buddy? <laughs> should oh, we, yes. Should we let him off the hook? <laughs> uh, Jennifer, you can tell guy, Abraham. <laughs> give the guy a breather for crying out loud. You can tell Abraham that he can put his, his hands down. Poor Abraham. He's such a good sport. Abraham, you have to keep that pie up. The whole entire show. A whole right. show, now, you got to keep that pie up. Oh, this your, is yep, cute. Yep. Melissa writes six feet pie. Oh, that's cute. A little punzy. There you punzy. go. All right. So, Jennifer, now put those pies... So put yep. put put the pies side by side, okay. two of them, and oh, then side by side. Yeah, and then put two of them side by side underneath. Where are you going with you this? I just say, you know what? This is a long way to go Judith? for this too. It's a stretch, isn't it? Is it a stretch? It's just taking you long. I'm going to give you this. I mean, oh, we started now. I got to I got to see this to the end. This okay. better be a strong finish, Frankish. Okay. Poor Abraham. This is not our fault. Okay. So you're putting by the way. pies so alongside. So I'm doing two but beside two, each other like two this. Two beside each other, and then move them up, and then beneath that row, put another row of two pies. What? No, not on top of each other, but beneath, like, like, uh, like you want two and two, and then two and two. Wow, Kev. In, in, like, uh, flat, underneath? all flat, all flat, nothing on top of each other. How's oh. Abraham doing? Where's oh. the Abraham There Pam? we go, she finally got it. Abraham and his arms, okay. his long limbs. We warned the affiliates we might go long. So put... Here, I'm gonna just do it like this. Put, Abraham's the best, okay. by the way. He's been all holding right. pie for 10 minutes. So put two... Okay, four pies. Two, put a row of two, and then underneath another row of two. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I know what it is. I know, I know. I know what it is. I, I mean, I, no, okay, she's done. Sir Pies, this is just ridiculous. That's what it is. No. no. Uh, she's That's not, not it? The idea was to put the pies, and I didn't want to use the term, the pies in a square, and it was supposed to be... Pie squared. It was supposed to be four pies. Oh, pie no. Squared. Jen, Jen, oh. Jen, I'm sorry. He tried, though, okay? That's okay. You, I'll leave it to you. Smart people would figure that out. <laughs> I'll leave it to you. Um, that was a long way to go for that wow. one. Yeah. Are you still Too holding long. that pie above your head, Abraham? Uh -oh. <laughs> Abraham, Abraham, Abraham he can't hear us. No. We would love, can someone phone Abraham if he has a cell phone? If you can and tell him he can put pie, his hands down. You get to win the free pie. This <laughs> should right. be like, it's a whole new exhibit. We'll be right back with more breakfast Aww. television. Wow, that was a really long way. You want pies, don't you? Do you guys want some pies? Yeah. Pull me down hard and drown me in love. So come on. At 749 for celebrations. Here's Jen. Hey, Kevin, look at all the people that came out to get a free pie. We're giving, a, we're giving away 100 pies and some produce here at Sherway Farmer's Market. Okay, Kenna, we're starting off with all you. Right. Go get your pie. Go get your produce. Everybody follow along. There you go. Thanks to everybody for coming out. Nice for the weekend. All right, that's what we're celebrating today. But you know who else is celebrating? We've got Aiden celebrating seven years old. Have a super seventh with lots of love from Cheech, Uncle Larry, Yogi, Nono, Nona, and the entire fam. Isabella, three years old, love always from mommy, daddy, and your family and friends, hugs and kisses. Labrina, 38 years young today, birthday wishes, love your family and friends. And wishing a happy second to Xavier, lots of love from mom and dad, brother Jackson, and the whole family. Ella, five years old today, have a great day, love mommy, sister Ava, grandma, Uncle Tom, and Uncle Joe. Up next, Malaya, who is turning three years old. Birthday wishes, love, mom and dad. Happy 18th goes out to Daniel with love from mom and all your family. Happy birthday, Charlie, turning two. Love and wishes from the entire family and your friends and Jacks. And birthday wishes go out to Scarlett. Ava, who is turning seven years old. Birthday wishes, lots of love from mommy, daddy and Hunter and Mickey. And celebrating today, Yasmin, turning eight. Enjoy your day, love, mom and dad. Happy birthday, Miles. Birthday, Miles' birthday is today. Miles was born at 12.01 a.m. This is your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday and uh, congratulations to parents Dave and Christy Hunter. All your friends and family are overjoyed.
And for everyone else who's celebrating out there today, have a wonderful day. And like I said, we are celebrating at Sherway Farmers Market with pies and produce for the weekend, giving away a hundred. I think we have enough for this lineup. We're giving them all out. We got blueberry, raspberry, apple. See you when we come back, taking a break. Hi. Hey everybody, just chatting with people today at Sherway Farmers Market. Thanks everybody coming out for pies. Yeah. Romeo, you got a pie. Yes, hi. Oh, he's taking the mic. Yo, take the mic from me. Hi, this is for the... Yes, what's your name? Barbara. Barbara. Let's <laughs> red pepper, remember? Oh, Barbara. Yeah. Okay, Barbara made me red peppers. Thank you so much. They were that delicious. That was from Farmer's Market. Yes, you, you, you grew those peppers, right? I bought them on Farmer's Market. Oh, you bought them and then you, you pickled them. And pick up hot pepper and make big, hot, spicy You gave me the pepper. biggest jar ever. Thank you. It was delicious. What's your dog's name? Leo. Leo. There's Leo. <laughs> Hi, Leo. Okay, Romeo, you brought the pie for the people Hi, this is for people at work. I just want to wish my friends and family a happy Friday and a happy Canada Day. What Thanks for the pie. pie. Hey. Woo. Woo. And I met you before. What's your name? Diane. What Diane. How well, you come to the Sherway Farmer's Market? We do. We just live around not too far and uh, come all the time. Wonderful. I'm glad you picked up an apple, but we're out of pies. We're out of pies, oh, Teresa. No. <laughs> but I'm glad that you got a pie because you. it is your 60th it birthday. It is. I came to get my birthday gift. Well, Thank you very much, not Jennifer. Look 60. Does she look 60? Uh, well, maybe oh, I should be wear, wearing my glasses, but uh, yeah, you look fantastic. Thank Happy you very birthday. Much. Thank you, Jennifer. Celebrate oh, with pie. So uh, nice to see you. I'm going to run over here to Mr. and Mrs. Smokeville because when you come to Sherway Farmers Market, hello, Kathy, there. Uh, you get samples. What do we have here? This is our cold smoke rainbow trout uh, a new product for us and it goes exceptionally well with goat's cheese and avocado on top uh, um, it's one of our favorites and uh, it's just uh, yeah, it, it's a new product. It's outselling everything that we've got. So you Delicious. can come down. And it goes so well with the co the wine from Coyote's Run right next door. All right. Thank you so much to everybody here at Sherway Farmers Market. Coyote's Run wine. Have some smoked salmon with it. We'll see you when we come back. A gorgeous morning. That was very good. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to try it with Oh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Don't you just love farmer, farmer markets? You have those in L.A. They're the best. Yeah. So good. Everybody's going into the organic there, too. This one out at Sherway is a favorite for sure on this uh, Friday morning. Pies are sold out, or rather, well, no, run the, out. The free pies the free are. Pies. They have more pies to sell you, but they, the pies they had for free are gone. Those pies were selling like hotcakes, I tell you. That was bad. 15 degrees, mainly clear <laughs> right now in Toronto. <laughs> Thank you, and let's go uh, to Jennifer at the Live Eyes, see what's coming up. Hey, Cav, a little rhubarb. They got some fresh strawberries here at Sherway Farmer's Market, a little strawberry rhubarb pie. You can make that at home. Come on down and get your fresh produce here at Sherway Farmer's Market. All the pies are gone. Thanks to everybody who came out and got a free pie this morning. We're talking about all the fresh produce when we come back. Oh. One of my favorite places, Sherway Farmers Market. Look at those strawberries. They are in season. Ralph and Emmy Lease Farm Fresh Produce here every single year. Ralph, always nice to see you because I've watched your, your children, your boys grow up, Matthew yeah, and Nathan. Hey, still working hard. Oh, absolutely. They got up this morning about 2.30. 2.30, the yeah, life of a they farmer. They really loved getting up this morning. <laughs> Tell me about your farm. It's in the Holland Marsh. Yes, we have uh, about uh, nine and a half acres, just a small place, but it's amazing what you can grow on nine and a half acres. Some crops we can grow more than one at a, in a season, like radishes we can get about four crops in one season. What should people be buying right now? What's fresh? Uh, strawberries is probably the big one right now. Potatoes are amazing. They're unbelievable. And beans and peas are in already. We got four kinds of lettuce, Boston, Romaine, green leaf and red leaf. Basil's in. Tomatoes are coming in strong. We got hothouse peppers still. Field peppers will be about two or three weeks. Uh, what's coming our way? What's coming our way? Blueberries, uh, two weeks maybe. Two weeks? And what wild, about corn? We want corn. Uh, about the same. I should have some about the 10th of July. Uh, We're hoping. How long have you been here at Sherway? How long about have you been 22 years. 22, 22 years. 22 I've been doing this for 35 years. 35 years. Why Why farm life? How did you get into this? Was it your family? Oh, man, do you really want to know? I do. My girlfriend's parents went to a market on Saturdays, and I helped them. And then 
One day they said, you should do this for a business. You're pretty good at it. And I said, not interested in the least. A few years later, we got married. My wife got a teacher in the, near the farm in New Market. So we moved and ended up buying half the farm in 1989. And this is your life. It's this a good is, life. Oh, it's a really good life. We work a few too many hours sometimes, but this is, it's, it's wonderful. My, my own boss, nobody tells me what to do. I do it all myself. Isn't that great? Nobody tells you what to do. Uh, absolutely. Oh, I love wow. getting up at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> all right. Come on over here, Nathan. Matthew, get over here. Matthew, I remember interviewing you where you were just a little tiny guy, and I asked you, you tell me, told me you like books. I remember yes. you told me a whole book about a whole book that you read. You still yeah. like books. I love books. What They're are you great. reading right now? Oh, man. Mostly comics and stuff. I'm really That's into okay. comics, graphic novels, and stuff like that. Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, all the mans. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, the Hulk. Uh, Nathan, what yep. was so great about growing up on a farm? Or was it great? Well, it, it was a lot of hard work, but mostly it was getting up early for the markets that I remember. When I was really young, I would go and sleep underneath the tables, just on boxes. Because so he'd make me get up at like 3 in the morning, and I'm just like 5 eight years old. Are you used to it now? Oh, I'm used to it now, but it's still it's really hard. It is. It is a hard life. We get up early, too, so I, I feel it, guys. But come on down here, buy your fresh produce, and we're talking to more vendors when we come back at Sherway Farmer's Market. Buy some strawberries. Thanks, guys. Back at Sherway Farmer's Market. Billy Joe, wave to the camera. Come on by. Get some perennials here from Billy Joe. She's got beautiful perennials. There's her son. Uh, we've got uh, two little kids right here. We've got Michael and we've got Claire. And Michael, do you like cheese? Do you like cheese? <laughs> yeah, you like cheese. Do you want to try some cheese? Yeah, this is your mom, Hero. You come to the Sherway Farmer's Market all the time, once a week. I do, about once a week. It's a great chance to find fresh, local Ontario produce. And your and kids love well. cheese. <laughs> yeah, they've been eating cheese off camera. So here you go. This is a little, this is an Ontario cheese called Five Brothers. There you go, sweetheart. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, cutie. Uh, beautiful kids. Thank you so much for stopping much. by. Uh, okay, so Hero, which is a beautiful name, by the way. Uh, Hero bought some cheese just now when we were off camera. She bought this one right here. Yeah, she got some of the five brothers from Guns Hill Artisan Dairy. Shoshana and, Shoshana and Adam. Uh, is it Adam or Alan? Uh, Alan, Alan, sorry, yes, Alan. Uh, you can come by and you, you can get Ontario cheese. Absolutely. We go around and find all the best cheeses, artisan-made cheeses around Ontario. And we bring our favorites to here to the market. And you can get you get to sample as many as we can fit on our on our cheese boards here. There you go. We'll come out and see them. They're here every Friday. Uh, Jeff is here as well. What's your winery? Coyotes Run Estate Winery. Where is it? Little village of St. David's in Niagara on the Lake. Wonderful. So people can come to your winery? Absolutely. We're open seven days a week, ten to six. Or they can try the wine, or they can come and buy the wine here. Or they can come to their local farmers market, including this one, and you'll likely find us there. Other farmers markets as well? Absolutely. Burlington, St. Jacobs, Toronto markets. You're Barry. busy. You're yeah. traveling around. Uh, we work hard. All right. Good. Keep, keep working hard. Uh, okay, right over here. It's Christina. Hello, Hi, Christina. Wonderful. What do you have here? What's the name of the company? So we're European Meat from 27 Country Market, and it's all family tradition, all our meats and our salamis. We've been in the business since 72, and it's kind of just passed down from generation to generation. Yeah, your like brother that. was here last year, and he yes, said, you every year. <laughs> next year you better come and see me. Yeah, well, he's year, not here. Yeah. I'm here. He's the talker. He's just not here today. Well, tell him I said hello. Yes, thank you so much, guys. Okay, so right over here, last but not least, Tina. I, this soap. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Smell this soap. It's incredible. Tell me about your soap. These are all olive oil, goat's milk, and essential oils. And the cupcakes oh. here are coconut, uh, shea butter, olive oil, all handmade. And, and, and beautiful. They look beautiful. They smell beautiful. And they work. There you go. Come super moisturizing. Super moisturizing. Oh, no. You oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. No eating the soap. See, they look so real, but they're not. You use them on your body. <laughs> okay, we'll see you. Uh, have a safe and happy weekend, everyone. Mwah! And uh, we'll see you Monday. We're taking Bye a break. Now. More BT after the break. Oh, no, no. It's they happened look, before. It hasn't happened before? Oh, my goodness.